Well, hi there, <clears throat> Dave Rolf. And this is a Smart Networker, and this is a re-recording of today's Zoom call, which was on you know going over some of the forms and functions of our <clears throat> new Nikon back office. And because of its length, I wanted to kind of uh, shorten it, and so I just decided to redo a video just to cover all the points that we covered and uh, really get into some uh, good uh, visual detail. So we're going to start off here with the login process. And again, we're at the login. It's signed in. We've dialed into my Nikon, and we've got our ID and our password, and we create the login. And so there we go. We log in. All right. It's now loaded. So I wanted to go over a, a few things just to make sure that these are covered there are little points that I came across and and I, I think are, are kind of important the first is on the top bar here it's the not you function now <laughs> I looked at this and not you know it's me I'm fine that's good didn't pay attention to it and I clicked on it and then all, lo and behold it took me back to this page so then I realized what the function was, is if, if you log on and it does happen not to be your name um, and you say, no, this isn't me because nothing would work with your ID, then you can give you the option to <clears throat> press that button and then you get the ability to log back in. In another function in the same area in the top bar when you go welcome is my company name, Cellular Management. And I click on, you've got those drop-down menus, this sign out button. Now, <clears throat> the way the computer system works is obviously when you log in, you're going to a server. It provides information. Sometimes when you shop around and go to a number of different areas throughout the page, uh, for some reason, as this is getting uh, squared away and settled down, sometimes error messages show up. Um, that will obviously get fixed, but they show up on your page and it will not allow you to proceed or get the data that you want. So what I found out by going up here and then logging out actually ended that particular cycle that was going on. And then if I log back in again, I usually found out that what I was looking for was now available. So it seemed that there was some kind of an internal glitch going on of keeping me into the system and then when it ran into trouble not fixing the trouble but you know keep letting you know wouldn't allow me to get out of fixing it so but logging in and out did so just a little quick fix there if you, if you wanted to utilize that moving forward it may not fix all problems uh, so it's it's not the be all or end all but if you run into challenges and it works for you then great Okay, the next area that I wanted to talk about before we get into the actual specifics of the day were these bars of information, PPV, PG, PV, and OPV. Now, I'm going to go back a period from March uh, to February because there's data in those bars. And if I click on the actual bar, the solid bar with my mouse and then click on it, it's going to open up a window of a transaction. And if I actually wanted to see what the transaction was and I clicked on that, it just takes me to my name. So it doesn't provide me with what I want. I'm going to have to go elsewhere to find that specific information. But that gives you an idea of where it came from. In the PGPV, doing the same thing. Um, okay, so now it's showing no information is available. All right. So for some reason, that changed from a previous view that I looked at. And if I go to the OPV, again, it's saying there. So <clears throat> the system says the system is busy. But if you click on those two, it will bring up the information that uh, happened in that per particular month. So just for chagrins, because we ran into a problem, I'm going to do this. I'm going to log out. And I'm going to log back in. And see if that what I said works will work. Okay, now I'm going to go to uh, the previous period. I'm going to go to February. And then I'm going to go to PGPV. And there it is. Well, isn't that funny? 
<laughs> so I got to demonstrate that one. I didn't think I would. So now the, the orders are showing up. And if I go to the OPV, again, now the orders are showing up. So I'm sure that'll get fixed in the system. But it's just if that happens, now you've got an idea of how that you could possibly fix that. All right. So let's get into the um, – oh, one more thing was uh, – the not you, um, we'll do this now, the, what's called the transaction history. If you go up here to your name, you'll see my account and transaction history. Transaction history is now the new name for account inquiry. All right. So what we used to know it as account inquiry. So now it is transaction history. And you can find it first off. Let's go to my account. So when you click on the My Account button and you scroll down to the bottom, here's your account activity, transaction history. If you click on that, it opens up and it will give you all of the activities for the course of a month that you're involved with, you know, what you got paid on, what was clawback, to what your paycheck was, etc. And it gives you quite a few months so you can scroll down. I'm not going to scroll down because that will show you all mine. And then you have actually here you have a print version. OK, so you can print that out as um, uh, so you get to see what uh, is going on. All right. So that's that. If we do and go back up here and do transaction history. Then the same thing applies. It's the same thing. So you got it in two places and then you got the, the print version that uh, you can print out on that. All right, so let's go back, and the refresh button here is the My Nikon, so you just click on that, and that's going to take us back to the main page. So here was the real first topic that uh, came up as a question, was the create link. So the first thing that happens when you create the link is it's going to ask you to name the link. Well, let's, we're just, I've done this several times, I've got it loaded, and um, so I want to show and demonstrate how it works. So we're going to call this um, uh, Relax. So just as a, a, a link name. And so if we go down to the link type, there are two types. One is a cart link and one's a product page. Now the cart link is actually a shopping cart that you've set up. And you're going to send it to somebody that they're ready to buy. And it already has the products listed. I'm going to show you that momentarily. And the other is a product page link. And then the product page link will uh, be a, a specific product that you want to send to somebody to take a look at. So we're going to do the product page link here. So I'm going to, it's called relax, and I'm going to press continue. Oh, and it went to cart link. So I see what happened there. So I'm just going to go back here and do this again. So it's called relax, and I want to change that to a product page. And now continue. Okay, so at the top it says you are creating a category link. So we're in the relax area, so relaxation. So let's click on the on this, and then we've got a number of products that we can add to this. So we're going to send the, the, the seat, create a category link for the seat. So I click that, and there it is. So all of a sudden, that link is now created in my view links section. So you can see I have a number of links that I have set up already. And, and we're going to use some of those uh, and show you in a test. So the idea here would be, let's take the sleep one. You would copy the link. And then I would go up to my website. And I would then uh, write an email. And um, I'm not sure if you can see this, so I'm going to make sure uh, that you see this. So I'll stop the share here, and I'll share the screen, and then I'll go back to my website here and open that up. And then now, there you go. So you should see this. So I sent here a couple of emails to myself, order cart, sleep system, and water products. Okay, so those came to me in email. So, for example, if I opened up the sleep system one, it gives me a link. 
now in order for you to see this link, I, here's what I've got to do. So I'm, first of all, I'm going to copy it. And um, so I've got the copy of the link. Now, as I sent it to me in this particular link, I have another browser that I'm going to open up and place in that browser. But in order for you to see that, first of all, we'll stop the share here. I am back. Now we'll, we'll go to that. We'll open up that link. And then we've got, there we go. And um, now I'm going to go up here, create a new window, and then I'm going to paste that link. There it is. We pasted it. Boom. It's going to open up. And there we go. So this would be what the customer would get. Now, if they were a customer and they had their own login, they would be able to log in. If they were a prospect, then they would have this information. They could see what it was and they could buy it. Just add it to cart and away you go. So what what basically happens is, is you, you make the link, you copy the link, you put it in an email, you send it out, it goes to them and um, away you go. And it says here what's happening. You are creating a personal order with Cellular Management Corporation, which is my company. Okay. So I think that basically handles that aspect. I'm going to stop the share here. And then I'm going to go back to share the screen. I'm going to go back to the other. And so we can look at something else. I'll open that. Okay, so in the, I'm back in my emails. So I'm going to go back to the inbox, and then I've got this other one here on an order cart. So I'm going to click on that link. We're going to copy that. Okay, I'm going to copy that link. Okay, there we go. Copy it. I'm going to stop the share. I'm going to go to the other browser. And uh, let's see here paste that in there boom there we go so now this is a a cart page and in this particular case I had put in the what Pi Mag waterfall and the hydrogen system it's in the the box here on the on the right you can see that the price is all set up this is in US dollars now it's gonna it asked me if I want to check out or continue shopping so for the customer, it's all set up. It's really nice and uh, very handy. So I'm not going to proceed with this so you could figure out how that's going to work. But it's just they're going to put in their details to payment and review it and order it and away you go. And again, it says up at the top, you are creating a personal order with Cellular Management Corporation. So if it was my name that was up there uh, or they knew it was, they would know that's me, that was fine because it's for somebody I've been talking to. I'm going to instruct them that if it's your name that's up there, it's going to say your name and that's how it's going to work. And if it's a customer, they can log in. So um, there you go. That's so we'll stop the share on that. And then we'll go back to the other and then we'll go back to the, the uh, program and away we go. Okay, so there we are. The links are all displayed, and so you can edit them, you can change them, you can do whatever you want with them. So there was the the first question that came up was the create links and the view links. So I hope that answers that question. It's it's, and, and here's my recommendation with all of this stuff: just play with it, just keep going back and forth. You know, take a look at it. And again, most of us can have, have access to two browsers, so. What I realized, if I send it to myself on the same browser that I was in, it wouldn't work. If I send it to a different browser, the information that I wanted to see would work. All right, so let's move on to the next point. And the next point was to go to genealogy. So I'm going to click on the genealogy tab. And uh, this is a fascinating one, too, because compared to the two systems, They've tried to replicate it as best they can, but and we'll discuss what we want to discuss on this one for right now. So the gre geographic or the graphic tree and the business groups, I do not know anything about those two right yet, so I'm not going to talk about them, but we're going to talk about the detailed genealogy. So the first thing is, is you probably looked at, you got all these names across the top, what do I do? So the first thing we're going to do is go to filters. When you click on filters, what filters is going to do is it's going to give you the ability 
to list what you want to see on your report. Now, when I first saw these arrows, I didn't know what the heck are these things for. And so I started to push and play. So if I clicked on the double arrows, for example, boom, all of the information went to this side. If I clicked on the double arrows this way, oh, all of the information went to that side. And if I highlighted one and then clicked on the arrow, it removed from here and went to here. So then I realized how to create the report that I wanted. It's really quite simple. So you just highlight what you want and use the big arrows to move it one at a time, or you can move the whole group with the double arrows. On the right-hand side, showing all users or wellness subscription status or, you know, uh, only new members or, you know, PV between certain dates or GV between certain dates or zip between, uh, you can fill out those information. I, for me, this is information that's really not required for what I'm doing. And, and I don't think for most anybody else, but it could be. So if you want to play around with it, play around with it. And again, that's the operative. Play around with it. Try it. Practice with it. Do your thing. So once we've got in this what we want displayed, then we're going to press Update Report. It's going to refresh. All right. Now, <clears throat> next one, columns. So when we click on the columns, it's the same thing. So you've got a whole bunch of data was available for the columns. So you could have member status, levels, paid rank, uh, the sponsor, the sponsor's name, the home, the email, the city, the state. I mean, a lot of information that may or may not be of interest. For me, I was only interested in certain information. Number one, their name, their ID, their rank, their PGPV, their uh, period of volume for February, and the period for March. And the reason why I only wanted two months, what did you do last month, and where are we now? If I needed to review more data, then I could add more data and create a new report. So it was that simple. So once I've got this laid up, and these work the same way, the only addition are these arrows. And what they do is if you like click on this and then press an up arrow, it moves, it just changes its location. Press it again, it's going to move it up. Okay, press it down, it's going to move it down, press it down, okay, it's the way you want. And that's what those are for, same with those. So we'll update the report. And it's going to display certain things. Okay, the third is the organization. Now, here, uh, this is going to give you the levels of what you're looking at. So, if you have a smaller group, then maybe looking at 10 levels is important, or maybe five levels. So, you have your choice. Because I have a large group, I want to look at one level, and I'll tell you why momentarily. So, I put in the one and I press the update report. Now, for some strange reason, the it doesn't stay at one. So every time I log in or log out, um, I have to put in that one to create the report. But anyway, here's my report. So now I have my front line, all the people on my first line, and I have the topics across the top, and I, I can then review the data that I want to review. And um, if I want to now drill down, so if I click on uh, Richard Lutzko, front line, and then I click on his name, then what's going to happen is now I'm going to see his front line. So if I then saw Gilbert, uh, Jean-Marie, and I wanted to see what was going underneath him, I would click on his lines here, and that would go to his organization. And it just keeps going and going and going and going. So I could drill down in an organization if I'm looking for somebody specific or a, a specific volume or, or a name. And if I want to go back to where I was, the only way right now that I know of is just to press the back button, <clears throat> and then I'm back to the to the view that I want. All right, so there's your genealogy, how to use it, your filters, your columns, and your organization, and how you can see depth and, and how you can copy. And somebody brought up the question, well, what about a print function for this? And somebody else brought up the, well, you can do the control P, um, but I'm not, I'm sure you have to set up a page and then, you know, print that page off. And, I, and we just saw that there is a printing option that was created for your commissions report. So I'm sure that's coming for this as well. Okay, let's refresh and go back to the landing page. 
Here's another question that came up in the call. It was about branding your name. Now, I think where this really started was with Amway. And, uh, you know, some of the big groups in Amway got together and they formed their own identities. I've seen it in other companies where the top dogs, you know, this is the, the Smith group or the Langley group or the whatever group. And they're... I guess it was part of, um, you know, keeping the group together and, and you know, it was a PR thing. And, and uh, so if you said, well, I'm with the Smith group and everybody know, well, I know that group. And if you were the Langley group, well, I know that group. So, you know, if you want to brand yourself, you know, uh, that's fine. I, I think that the reason this came up is because of what's going on up in Canada <clears throat> and um, with the sovereign team, the sovereign group, uh, Michael's uh, daughters and, and niece, and they formed a group and they have a very unique situation that uh, really pertains to them and what's going on because of the, who the three of them are and the, they've grown up in our business. And so looking at it from that perspective, that fits them very nicely. Now, you have to then understand looking at your situation, how would it work? And of course, that's the same with any piece of information that you hear of. But you know, what's it designed to do, and how can you benefit from utilizing it? So, uh, if you feel that you need to brand your name, and that's a good idea, and that's what you want to do, then by all means, go do it. Um, but to, for the sake of building this business, is it something that you have to do at this point in time? Again, you're going to have to look at that. In my opinion, I didn't really brand my name in any way, shape, or form. Uh, other than, you know, writing the book and my web page. Um, <clears throat> so I'll leave the rest up to you and your decision. That's my opinion on it. All right. So now the next question was um, commission summary. So, and, uh, you know, so we saw earlier when we clicked on this tab, and we went to transaction history. Um, I'll just click on it again. We saw this, and then you could print that. So that's your monthly. But it's also going to include your weekly. Um, and again, if you wanted to go to, like this tab, Order History, and you clicked on Order History, you could see your personal orders, and you could see your customer orders. And again, when you know what, depending on the view you wanted or the month, okay, so right now I don't have any customer orders for March. But if I go back to February, I had, uh, I think I had a couple. Yeah, I had some orders in, in March, so, um, in I mean, in February, so there we go. Okay. So anyway, so let's go back to uh, this, and then the next area where you could see information that might pertain to that question of commission summary, retail report would be under your reports in the middle here. And on the left-hand side, you've got a number of reports that are available. So you can go from new members down to commission summary. And if you click on commission summary, then what this is going to open up is a, a new window of your reports. And, and it's basically going to give you two pieces of information. One is your primary bonus and one is your secondary bonus. And your primary bonus is your monthly checks. So that's, you're going to have 12 months of, of information, January through December. Your secondary bonus is going to be for your commissions for sales of products based on weeks. So it could be up to 52 weeks in a month. So if I go back to, let's say, 21 and click on that, so first it's going to give me a a graph of all the charts of all the months, I should say, and then it's going to, in the primary, and it's going to list out all 12. And then if I go up to the secondary, it's going to list out all the, the weeks that I had a retail sale that I got a retail commission on. Okay, so you can then uh, utilize that, and probably the control P would allow you, I don't see a print button here, but that would... Uh, <clears throat> probably what would do that. All right, so those were the questions that uh, came up today um, on, on the Smart Networker. So I'm going to stop the share for a moment. There we go. And then, uh, so that's it on today's video. So enjoy that. And uh, 
will, as new improvements happen and new things that we can learn can be passed on, I will create another video. So in the meantime, we'll see you soon on the Neekin Highway. Talk to you there. Bye for now.